Mary was mentally reviewing the presentation she had to give the next day at the university. The court would be composed of several professors and owners of very important companies. Everything had to be perfect. Apart from the grade, a possible contract with some of those businessmen was also at stake. She opened the closet and laid out her clothes, a suit of pants and jacket and white shirt. That basic never failed. She looked between her shoes and she had some beautiful black sandals still unworn. It was the missing accessory to complete an impeccable look. But looking at her feet, she realized that she had long nails, so she took a nail clipper and carefully cut them. At that moment, she heard her grandmother's voice in her head saying, Mary, never cut your nails at night. The young woman stared into a space. Her grandmother had always believed in various superstitions, and since she was a child, she had always paid attention to her. But with the pressure and nerves of the presentation, she had completely forgotten. She sighed, looking at the wall. What if everything went wrong because she cut her toenails at night? She tried to remember and remembered her grandmother's words. She had told her that if she cut her nails after 8.30 in the evening, the instrument with which she had cut them would be cursed. It would be sharper and brighter and would bring with it something terrifying. Afterwards, someone would knock on the door and leave a box for her. It couldn't be opened until dawn. She shouldn't be curious. The owner of the box would try to surprise her, so if she felt any presence, she must not look back. If she didn't expect death, she shouldn't cut her nails at night. Suddenly, Mary looked at the nail bits on the floor and her heart began to pound. Panic seized her. Her grandmother was always right. She was so scared that she decided to call her mother, but a noise paralyzed her. Someone was ringing the doorbell. Her cell phone slipped from her hands, falling to the ground. There was no way the legend her grandmother had told her was true. But she wasn't expecting visitors, who was calling her? Her hands began to sweat, but she steeled herself and headed to the door. Maybe her grandmother's story was a lie and she was just exaggerating. As she walked towards the entrance, the doorbell rang three times and then stopped. Mary closed her eyes and opened the door. Nobody was there, but there was a box on the floor. She remembered her grandmother's words again, that someone would leave a box, but she shouldn't be curious and wait until dawn to open it. Her heart was pounding so hard she could hear it echoing in her head. She began to cry desperately. She just wanted to close her eyes and think that none of this was happening. She wanted to wake up from that nightmare. The box was black. She couldn't open it. She wanted to, but she couldn't. She thought of her friends, who were very pranksters. Maybe they wanted to give her a hard time and then laugh together and work off the stress of the presentation. She went upstairs to the bathroom to wet her face and suddenly she felt as if someone was on the other side of the door. She remembered again her grandmother's words, that she should not look back if she noticed something or someone approaching, that the owner of the box would surprise her. But who was the owner of the box? And what did he want from her? She looked determinedly at herself in the mirror and thought she couldn't die. Not tonight. She had to escape. So with all the courage she could, she closed her eyes and left the bathroom. She ran down the stairs, screaming in horror, feeling someone following her, but her legs gave out and she tumbled down the steps. She got up as she could with much pain and ran towards the exit. Just as she was about to leave, she tripped over the black box, which she had left by the front door. She turned her head and watched as the box with a punch had flipped open. She leaned out to see what was there and quickly threw her hands to her mouth in panic. There were mutilated and bloody toes and nails. She gave a terrified scream, and when she looked down, she saw that all her toes were missing. The last thing she saw was a face as white as paper, and eyes redder than blood. Do not cut your nails at night if you don't expect death.
if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!